Look at this magnificent cherry tree here in the ancient forest. We all think of the wonderful blossom in spring, but the ones in the forest take longer to come into bloom. And you can see the wonderful structure and the roots, absolutely amazing. They are steeped in history, folklore and mythology. Let's take a look at this wonderful tree. The beautiful cherry tree that we love to see every spring. There are so many countries that have cherry tree festivals to celebrate its magic and beauty. Cherry trees represent happiness, good luck, love, beauty and new life. There is archaeological evidence that cherries have been eaten by our ancestors since prehistoric times. Cherry stones have been found in Bronze Age settlements. This is a Bronze Age cherry stone. In Japan, they've been celebrating the wonderful cherry tree for centuries in the spring when it comes out in its beautiful cascading blossom. It means happiness and the families get together and share their love and happiness thus far in their lives. In Japan, the festival is called Hanami, which means flower viewing. Cherry tree in Japanese is Sakura. It's a wonderful, happy festival where feasting and drinking under the beautiful cherry trees takes place every year. In Chinese lore, the magical phoenix is said to have laid beneath the cherry tree in the blossom and it gave it eternal life. In 1952, in Macon, Georgia, USA, a local discovered a lone Yoshino cherry tree. He loved it so much, he learned to propagate it, and now there are 350,000 of them. A festival is held every year. If you want to give someone a special gift, then give them a cherry tree, because it means long love and happiness, one of the best presents you can give to somebody. In Greek mythology, Persephone and her mother Demeter are sitting here by a cherry tree. She is the goddess of spring. So how does she become the queen of the underworld? Hades was the god of the underworld. He didn't have many suitors, obviously, but he wanted a wife and he had spotted Persephone. One day he saw her picking flowers and he wanted her so much he got into his chariot and rose from the depths of the underworld and kidnapped her and took her back to the depths of the underworld. Demeter was so sad and was grief stricken. She searched the earth for her daughter but could not find her. While doing this, she forgot all about her responsibilities. So the woods were dying, the leaves were coming off the trees, the crops that she was to look after were dying. The whole world was becoming winter and dark. The gods realized they had to intervene and save the world. And they said to Hades, you must give back Persephone to our world. Demeter had to be appeased. Hades agreed, but he didn't want to give up his queen of the underworld. He loved her and adored her. So he had a plan that would make her come back every year to the underworld. What was it, do you think? Hades offered Persephone pomegranate seeds because whoever ate them from the depths of hell must always return. Every autumn Persephone must return to Hades as his queen in the underworld. You must never harm a cherry tree. Why? Because the elixir contained in the cherry tree was how the gods were immortal and also you would anger 
the fairy folk and the dryads and nymphs that lived in these trees. There are two species of native cherry trees in Britain, the bird cherry and the wild cherry. They live between 15 and 30 years and some live 60 years. The black cherry tree can live up to 250 years but there are also some wonderful ancient cherry trees that have lived for a thousand or maybe two thousand years. The greyish brown bark emits an acrid smell. Our ancestors believed that by putting it by the threshold of the house it would ward off the plague. Cherry tree bark was also used to make fabric dyes. The leaves are very toxic. If fresh leaves are chewed hydrogen cyanide can be released. This is a lethal poison. Despite this, Native Americans used cherry leaves to make teas to heal colds and coughs. The resin which leaked from the bark was used by children as chewing gum. Wildlife love the cherry tree. Thrushes, blackbirds, badgers, dormice, they all use the tree and love the tree. Deep in the ancient forest, the lovely wild cherry tree standing proud and magical. Cherry tree wood is very versatile and is used to make instruments, millwork, boat interiors, furniture, doors, flooring, even bagpipes. Cherry blossom and the leaves are edible. They are first pickled and used in recipes for cakes, candies, and even cookies. These trees are very special. Even this old cherry tree that is not quite in blossom still makes us smile and enjoy its grace and beauty. It is said that Buddha's mother was supported by a magical cherry tree while she gave birth. How lovely is that? Oh lovely cherry blossom tree, so beautiful to see and loved by me. It brings joy to my heart to walk along the cherry trees, to watch the wildlife enjoy their delights and the sound of the buzzing bees. The memories so strong are held within. It's time now for the spring to begin. Life is a bowl of cherries. The magnificent Japanese Yoshino trees are so spectacular every spring. This magnificent old tree is thought to be the oldest surviving cherry tree in the world. It's approximately 2,000 years old and is by a temple in Japan. Mature trees can grow up to 30 metres. The second part of its botanical name, avium, refers to the birds which play a role in the tree's propagation by eating the cherries and dispersing the seed. Cherry is sometimes referred to as gian. Cherry trees are hermaphrodite, meaning the male and the female reproductive parts are found in the same flower. The fruits, after pollination by insects, the flowers develop into globular, hairless, deep red cherries. I am sure you will agree, cherry trees are truly spectacular and interesting. So many different shapes and sizes. Whether you like the ornamental cherry or the wild cherry, they all deserve our praise. We hope you've enjoyed this episode all about the wonderful cherry tree. Look at this one behind me. Until next time, 